Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created this look for you here. I hope you really like it. It's very Rihanna inspired. She recently posted a Insta story where she had this really pretty aqua Cinderella-esque blue eye shadow and really metallic lips. So I really hope you guys like it. I wanted to recreate it and the skin was glowy and it was perfect and I absolutely loved it. So I hope you guys really like it as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So we're going to start off with my face moisturize and my brows done already. My eyelids are primed with the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I'm just going to go in with this Fenty Beauty uh, Instant Retouch Primer. So this is what the primer bottle looks like. I'm not sure if you can really see that. I'm using one of my other cameras today. This is my um, Canon Rebel T5, I believe. I'm having used this camera in, ooh, maybe like a year and a half. It's just been sitting there, so I was like, let me see if I can switch the lens and use it. And so, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So this is what the primer looks like. It's a pinky tone primer, but it goes on um, really translucent. I really do like this primer. It's a really good primer. Um, I just used a pump and a half. When it gets to like around here, I like to press it in more than rub it. I like to press it into the skin. It really does make your face just look really smooth, really matte. And it makes your pores like a lot less visible. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm just going to jump right into foundation. Um, today's look is going to be fairly easy. I'm going to be using, I think, two palettes, but it's only like one shadow out of one palette and then um, two shadows out of another palette. Something really, really simple and easy. It's actually inspired by Rihanna because um, she recently posted a Insta story, and on her Insta story, she had this really beautiful bronzy golden look, and I was like, oh my gosh. I want to recreate that and her lips had just a pop of color on there so I want to recreate that. So this is what the foundation package looks like. This is the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. This is in the number 300 and then this is what the bottle looks like. Really sleek, really pretty. I'm sure you guys have seen it plenty of times. So I'm just going to shake this foundation so I can mix it up really, really well. I'm actually going to mix this in with my NARS so I'm going to do one... I'm going to do three pumps of this foundation and then I'm going to do a pump and a half of my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and this is what that looks like. That's what my foundation is looking like. So now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the concealer. It's in the color medium and I'm just going to highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose and all my other highlighted areas that I really want to stand out. So now that I have all my concealer on, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. I'm going to use this before I actually build out my concealer. So I'm going to apply my contour first. I really like this applicator. It looks like that. And I'm just going to squeeze them out. And then I'm going to apply it in all my contour areas. Now that I have all my contour and my concealer added to my face, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my cheek contour and blend that out. And I'm just going to take this brush here and I'm really going to blend this cheek contour out and push it up towards the top side of my cheek. Not too far. I just want to make sure it's blended really, really nicely. Uh, 
um, pretty much I have a palette here. It's the Dream State palette. It's from Bad Habit. And in this palette, it's pretty much the dupe for the Rihanna Galaxy palette. So I was like, I can use this to create this look. Um, she has like a... Mm, I'm looking at the picture. That's why I'm like looking away. So she has like the Cinderella-esque blue. This is the closest blue that I have to that. So that's what I'm going to be using on the lid. This isn't going to be a cut crease or anything. So you don't have to worry about that. This is my Sonia Keshik number 20 brush. Just want to make sure I don't have any black on this. Okay. So my mirror is right here. So I'm going to be referencing my mirror there. And then of course my palettes have mirrors. So this is the Artistry palette. This is the dupe for the Mario um, Makeup by Mario palette. That's the palette that Kim Kardashian helped come out with or her artist helped come out with. So Mona is this shade right here. It's just a really light shade. It's really going to help with the transition and everything. So I'm just going to take it on this really fluffy brush. I'm just going to put this all over my lid and crease. I'm going to take Tuscany, which is this, this um, richer brown color right here. It has more of a red undertone, so it looks more sun-kissed. So I'm just going to take Tuscany, like, pew, that's it. Just the tiniest amount. I don't know if you can see that. Tiniest amount. And then I'm going to... Put this into my crease. Again, that's the Bad Habit Dream State palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to get a packing brush. I want something that's flat um, that I can just pack on color with. This seems like a cool little brush. So this is a packing brush right here. So what I'm going to do is this uh, Incubus, I believe it's what it's called. Don't quote me on that. But it's this shade right here. This shade right here. I'm just going to apply that to my brush. Again, this isn't going to be a cut crease or anything too difficult to achieve. It's going to be something really quick, hopefully. You know, I haven't done this yet, so we'll see. So I'm just going to tap off a little bit so it doesn't get on, on my face. And then I'm just going to pack that onto my lid to about right here. So I'm, all of this is going to be that color. I'm not going to take it above my crease or anything. But what I want to do next is take a blending, a couple blending brushes actually, and a smudge brush because these are all e.l.f. brushes, super affordable. They're like one, two, and three dollars, if that. So I'm going to be taking this smudge brush right here and I'm going to put this Dream State palette to the side for a second. So I want a really warm crease. So actually, I'm going to start off with my blending brush. So this is an e.l.f. blending. So um, I'm going to go in with Tuscany. And I'm just going to apply that right over on the crease where the rest of that shadow is. And I'm just going to blend that. Blend that into my crease. And then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and really just diffuse that uh, crease shade. So I'm going to bring it in as well. I'm just going to blend it. It's going to take the blue down just a little bit, but that's perfectly fine because hers isn't that high anyway. So you really just want to blend that shade down. If you guys have Insta Story and you guys saw Rihanna's look, then you guys will know what I'm talking about. But like I said, I will be posting the picture later on. So this is just a clean, this is an angled brush and I'm just going to blend out that side. Blend out the edges of everything so that it's really crisp and clean looking and you're literally just going to take this brush and you're going to mix these two shades together one's more icy and one's more like orange gold and then you just pop that into your inner corner so before i finish let me just um set my face because i haven't set it yet this is the l'oreal infallible pro spray and set makeup extending setting spray i'm just going to cover my eyes because this looks like it's actually water activated and i don't want it to like run down my face or anything but um you're just gonna cover your eyes and then spray so that's going to, like it says, extend your makeup. It's going to set all those powders that you have on your face, and it's going to make your face, like, last all day. Now, for under the lash line, she has this, I don't know what kind of color that is, honestly. Uh, it looks like a, hey, Cabby. 
Um, so let me look at the pictures. She has, it's just literally the same color of her eyes, which is crazy because, you know, Rihanna's eyes are bomb. So I'm just going to take my contour palette because I think that'll look really nice underneath. So this is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And this is in the color Shadow Play. This is the one that I hit pan on. I use it to contour everything. I'm going to mix Shadow Play and Sombre, which is this darker shade. I'm going to mix those two together and I'm going to just drag that in my lower lash line. And this is a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. It's just a flat shader brush. So it's flat, it's dense, and it really just um, helps smudge the lashes. Whatever's down there, it helps it smudge it out. So I'm just going to really pack on. On the outer, I'm going to pack on Sombre, which is the darker contour shade. And then on the inner, I'm going to take in Shadow Play. And then while that's about to dry or it's like a little still tacky, I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold because in Rihanna's picture, she's like really glowy, really like sun-kissed. So I'm going to take this one. This is what it looks like. It's like $5 if that at Target. I got mine from Ulta because uh, when I went to Ulta, that was the only place I could find it. I can never find It's always sold out at Target. can never find it at Target. So I'm just going to take my AOA Studio F19 brush. It looks like this. I like this brush better than a fan brush, which looks like this because this one distributes it a lot better versus this one. It can just like leave a streak. So I'm going to take my mirror, take some of that tap off the excess because you don't want it to be like everywhere and then really just apply that gold and you can apply it like this and then really feather it out that's why I like this because you can blend it out like that so it's not just like a gold streak and then I like to take my highlight above my brows too so for lips I just used my fancy gloss and my makeup revolution London Luster Gold Drops. I just took a couple drops on the back of my hand, applied it with a brush, and then put the Fenty Gloss right on top. And this is what the lip combo came out to be. I really like it. It's definitely very like metallic lip-esque. Um, I really, really like this lip. It's just a step up from a natural or a normal glossy lip. So I really hope you guys like that. I hope you guys really like it as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.